Hi guys, in this Windows Phone Pro video we're going to be looking at the Amazon Kindle app for Windows Phone. So let's just go, let's just go ahead and load that up. Okay, so what we see here is the uh, home screen. Um, it includes the uh, uh, books that we've been reading recently. Uh, we can also tap to show all the books on currently on the device as well as archived items. If we swipe to the right we get access to the Kindle Store, and then we get the menu area where we can uh, change the settings, uh, get support, and also uh, change how sync works. But first, I'm going to show you um, what the actual reading experience is like. So let's just go ahead and load up a book. Now, basically, um, uh, it takes you to the page where you left off. Um, if we just tap we can uh, see where we are in the book and then we get our little uh, options sort of bar at the bottom. We can sync, send a link, move to archive, go back, go to, change to settings or bookmark this particular page. Let's have a look at the settings. Now there are a variety of different themes on the device. Currently I think we're looking at the white one. Oh, sorry, no. There's the uh, black and white theme. And there's the sepia theme, which is a sort of slightly beige, and and then we have the black one, obviously. Now, what's nice is we can also change the uh, brightness of the page itself. Very good for saving power. And then, obviously, we can uh, choose different font sizes. I prefer having it on the biggest one. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. Now, the quickest and easiest way to bookmark a page is simply tap in the top right-hand corner. So we get this little bookmark indicator like that. Uh, to uh, view another page, just simply swipe back or forth. Okay, so let's go to the uh, main menu again. Now I'm going to show you how you can uh, purchase a book from the Windows Phone app. So we're going to click Shop Kindle Store, and now we get taken to uh, the um, sort of mobile Amazon Kindle website. Okay, let's have a look at bestsellers. Now this is one of the first times I've used Kindle. I've used it before on a PC, but um, it's so much better on the mobile device and um, I was actually quite surprised at how cheap some of these books are. Okay, so let's have a quick look through some of these. When you purchase a book, you um, use Amazon's one-click uh, purchase setting. So um, I quite like the look of that book. Let's go ahead and buy it. So all we have to do is tap on the title and then it will bring up a page. So there we go, buy with one click. All we have to do is click buy now. And then we choose what device we want it sent to. Obviously we want uh, Windows Phone. Yep, thank you for your purchase. Now interesting to note, if you use the back button, that will take you back further in the app. If you want to go back further in the marketplace, you use this back button here. That's just a little thing I've picked up. Okay, so let's go and see how that's downloading. I uh, will hit show all. Yep, and there we go, it's just downloading the book. Now this is currently downloading over Wi-Fi, so we'll see how quickly this downloads. I've downloaded these two titles um, over 3G and it did do it very quickly. Let's just tap. And there we go. Okay, so this is a very fast, fluid app. Um, it works well. You don't need a Wi-Fi connection. Um, whilst it's got the Amazon look and feel, it embraces the Windows Phone uh, Metro UI. It's fast, it's fluid, the books are cheap, you've got over half a million books to choose from in the UK. It's definitely a great app and I'd give it 5 out of 5. Thanks for watching this Windows Phone review.